Hey guys, this is Surya from Skilling. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying safe. Very recently, we started a series called Student Success Journeys. This series is intended to give you an idea of how a student's journey will be in a Skilling course. We did a series for CFD, we did a series for our design masters, we did a series for our CAE masters and a HEA masters. Uh, but still, there were a lot of people that we wanted to showcase. Since uh, we have more than 180 placements, it, in one video, having all the 180 placements will be really tough. What I have decided today is to show you the first 50 placements that happened in the last three to four months. Great. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these custom journeys. One thing that you need to think about is while our coursework is really good, without our students efforts, the success is not possible at all. So for every success story that I'm going to show in this particular video, there has been a lot of hard work from the student side of it, from skilling side of it as well. It's not just because of skilling the student succeeded, skilling helped the student succeed because the student wanted to succeed, right? That's more important. So let's go ahead. So let me go from number one. I wanted to highlight Puneet Pawar. Puneet is uh, one of our students who enrolled in our first batch of hybrid electric vehicles. He did his master's at Triple IT Jabalpur. And uh, post that, he was looking for a full-time mechanical engineering job. And uh, that's when he found out Skilling. And uh, he actually took up one course in Skilling. He really liked it. And he upgraded to our uh, master's in hybrid electric vehicle course. Say three to four months into master's in hybrid electric vehicle course, Puneet ended up with a job at Fiat Chrysler Automotives as a CFD analyst. So what I will do is I will also put the link for the attachment in the video description. Do take a look at it. So Puneet right now works as a CFD analyst at Fiat Chrysler Automotives. He took up our HEV coursework. Harshal Sulankar. Harshal did his master's at University of Plymouth. And post his master's in uh, University of Plymouth, Ashil had to move back to India. He was looking for a job. Uh, so Ashil finished his master's in 2017, his bachelor's in 2015. Came back in 2018 to India and was looking for a job. In 2019, Ashil ended up taking up our master's in hybrid electric vehicle course. Ashil and Puneet were from the same batch. And uh, he ended up as a CFD analyst at Fiat Chrysler Automotives as well. Uh, the link is out here. You can go check his LinkedIn profile. So Manogna is a special category, right? Uh, Manogna is like every mechanical engineer. So for example, even I, as a mechanical engineer, when I graduated from undergrad, got a full-time job at uh, CTS. So Manogna got it at Wipro or Infosys, I don't remember. I did not take the job, but a lot of students take up a, uh, the first job after in that campus placement. So Manogna took it and she was working at Infosys or Wipro as a software developer, I think. So she did not do anything with related to mechanical engineering in those two years, but eventually as a mechanical engineer, everyone wants to get into the core engineering domain. So what Manogna did was she, when she heard about uh, Skilling, she took up our CFD master's course. And uh, while finishing just three courses in our uh, five course CFD masters, she got an interview at Mercedes Benz. Uh, she reached the final round, but was not selected. But in a subsequent attempt with GK in aerospace, she was successful and got uh, recruited as a manufacturing engineer with a GET role. So Manogna's payroll was somewhere around 4 lakh package, which matched the Infosys or was better than the Infosys package. So Manogna was a bachelor's, went on to an IT company and then switched domain into uh, a mechanical engineering port company. So if you are someone who wants to switch domain, so Manogna is a great example. Arun Gupta, Arun Gupta did his B-Tech uh, and then an M-Tech. And uh, he was looking for a job. And what he did was he again took up our CFD master's course. He right now is a CFD analyst at DHIO Engineering Services. So you can basically go take a look at Arun Gupta's profile as well. So it will be out here in the LinkedIn profile. So I'll send this out. Not only Indian students take our courses, we have students taking our courses from 23 countries. Orge Martinez uh, was one, of, one such candidate. Orge Martinez did his bachelor's in Brazil, master's in Arizona State University and he was looking for a full-time job. He did a master's in aerospace, uh, if I'm not wrong, from ASU. And uh, while he was looking for a job at ASU, he took up our CFD master's again. And uh, he did the course brilliantly well. And right now, Orge Martinez is working as a systems engineer at Bombardier in United Kingdom, right? If you are someone who is in the UK or US or Canada and are looking for a a really good engineering role our courses will provide you the essential concepts that will help you get get a job so this is Orge Martinez 
what you can do is you can also go to projects.skilling.com and search for uh, the profile of RK Martinez and you will basically see that. I can search for RK Martinez in projects.skilling.com and uh, so here is his profile. So this is RK Martinez profile and you can also take a look at it. This is a public profile, right? Uh, Ashish Menden. Ashish Menden uh, is a current student uh, at uh, Kettering University and uh, he took up our hybrid electric vehicle course and uh, while finishing three courses, Convert, GD Power uh, and another course, saved using MATLAB and Open Form, uh, in the hybrid module, Ashish Menden got an internship at FEV Automotives as a CAE intern. So he is still going and working there. So Vignesh is the next candidate. Vignesh is special because uh, Vignesh was a very uh, early student of Skilling and uh, he took multiple courses at Skilling and that helped him get into uh, Penn State for his master's. And uh, while doing his uh, master's at Penn State, he took another course at Skilling and that helped him get into Cummins as a quality engineer. So right now Vignesh is working as a working at Cummins Inc. in Columbus, uh, USA. Rajesh Deva, uh, again, uh, one of our very early uh, students. So Rajesh Deva was, a, I think, a production engineer uh, at Renault Nissan or Tata Technologies. I don't remember correctly when he took up our course. He enrolled in our BAW course first, uh, Automotive BAW Sheet Metal Design using uh, NXCAD. He enrolled in that course work first. He uh, took up that course, worked really well. What that did was he was able to move into a BAW engineer in Tata Technologies itself. Then he took multiple other courses at Skilling, uh, Crashworthiness, and a few other courses. And what that made him was he, he was able to use that knowledge and get into Force Motors as a junior engineering manager. So Lucky Agarwal, Lucky Agarwal is currently as a R, uh, works as a R&D specialist. I think he's a, um, right now graduated to a manager at Seat Tires. Lucky Agarwal took up our vehicle dynamics using MATLAB, uh, suspension design using uh, uh, ADAMS, uh, multi-body dynamics, all the MBD courses, and that helped him get into uh, crack the interview at Seat Tires. So Jitin Jami, uh, Jitin Jami is uh, currently an aero acoustics engineer for Rolls Royce at uh, Quest Global. Again, he put in a lot of uh, hard work while enrolling in our courses, and mostly he took up our CFD courses, and now he is working at as an aero acoustics engineer for Rolls Royce at Quest Global. So that's the first 10 parts. There are a few people who are currently in a particular domain. So if you are someone who is currently working as a CFD engineer, but you are working on a pre-processing aspect, so where you are just meshing, but you want to go graduate and work on say, uh, post-processing or solver or automation, then uh, Saradi is a great example. Saradi previously worked in a company as a pre-processing engineer and then uh, took up our uh, CFD master course and uh, graduated to a CFD simulations uh, engineer at for thermal systems at Valio. He had a 30% hike based upon the coursework that he enrolled. So not only full-time jobs, people in their undergrad, uh, finishing their undergrad, and if they want to get into research jobs, our courses help there as well. Rago Mundra is a great example. Rago Mundra currently works as a research assistant at IIT Karakpur. You can basically click on this um, uh, link and uh, take a look at Rago's uh, profile. What I'll do is I'll share this whole profile to you. You can take a look at it. Adarsh, again from our first batch for uh, hybrid electric vehicles course. Adarsh is a candidate who works really hard uh, while his engineering grades was in the 65 to 68 percentage, but he put in a lot of effort in our HEV coursework. And uh, he actually got three offers. The first offer was for some reason did not go through, but the second offer was at Satyam Ventures and the third offer was at ESI. So he uh, ended up taking an ESI. So very similar to RG Martinez, a lot of students take up our courses while pursuing their masters. Shresha was one such student. So Shresha uh, took up our coursework and uh, after finishing his masters at uh, I think Michigan Technological University or UT Dallas, I think UT Dallas, he ended up as a senior design engineer at OpenSo, Illinois, US uh, with a $65,000 job opportunity. So that's what Shresha did. Pudi Pratap, Pudi Pratap took up our design masters coursework. Uh, he put in a lot of hard work. And right now he's a design engineer at Margin Machineries. Uh, Gerald Williams, again, a 
student who graduated in 2019, I think 2019 or 2018, wanted to really upskill himself in computational fluid dynamics because he was really passionate about computational fluid dynamics. He took up our CFD master's program and uh, he is right now working as a GET at FluidMech. So Karthik Ayer. Karthik Ayer is a classic example. Karthik Ayer took one course. Uh, the course that he took first was think advanced CFD using ANSYS Fluent. Then he ended up taking multiple other courses. He has a brilliant portfolio of projects. You can go take a look at Karthik Ayer at uh, projects.skilling.com. His efforts made sure he got a job at uh, as a computer-aided engineer at uh, Satyam Ventures. Again, Aravind Subramanian. Uh, so he is the silent type student. Uh, he was very passionate in getting a mechanical engineering job. Right? He was a fresher and he wanted to build a career in automotive industry. He, he improved his communication over a time with series of mock interviews. So while we have a lot of students, uh, some students might be really good at the technical aspect of it, but they might ha not have the communication to crack an interview. So that's where our tool test, where our mock interviews where help you out. So we provide you a set of questions and ask you to answer those questions multiple times. And uh, that is someone you will be answering to, uh, even if it is online. So that kind of increases your confidence on a particular topic. So communication is mostly about confidence. If you are confident about your topic, then you will communicate confidently. So confident communication is what helped Armin Subramanian, right? Along with the technical skills that he got. So he works with Revo Innovations. So Yugendar Gopisiti and Praveen Reddy, uh, two of our uh, computer-aided engineering master's program students, uh, right now work for uh, Beta CAE. Beta CAE is the uh, company that develops the tool called ANSA uh, and a few other tools. So right now, uh, Yugendar and Praveen work as automation engineers. Again, computer-aided engineering master's program, they took it up and they did really well. And right now they are working as an automation engineer at Beta CAE. Sachin Murli, again in our uh, CAE master's program with uh, Yogender and uh, Praveen. And uh, right now Sachin is working as a vehicle architect at Ford Motors. Uh, Jitesh, Jitesh was very similar to Aravind Subramanian, but uh, he, he put in hell a lot of hard work. So he is very driven and has been extremely active in preparing for interviews and pursuing job opportunities. Even after the coursework, he put in a lot of effort. He put in like 12 hours per day to make sure he got a job and he eventually succeeded with a, uh, getting a GET role in equilibrium solutions. Uh, so Shravan Kumar Nakpuri currently works at a simulation engineer at Tel. Uh, so, so these kind of profiles also come up. So he works at Tel Marketing. He was a professor five years in the industry, in teaching industry. He wanted to move from teaching industry to a core engineering industry. So you take up a, a CFD master's course and he did really well. And he moved as a simulation engineer for answers at Teled Marketing. Lau Kumar, and, uh, uh, Lau Kumar was again in a CAE master's program. He was never passive in the job search. He was flexible with jo job location. He did all that we asked him to do. He had a lot of projects that he worked on and he eventually got into computer aided engineering role as a GET at such a mentions. Uh, Shashi the Reddy was another student from our HEV batch, a hybrid electric vehicle master's program. He currently got, uh, is working with ESI as a GET. Uh, you might see ESI, Satyam Ventures uh, and Access Cadres come a lot because we basically understand that requirements and provide a lot of students for them. Uh, so yeah, Shashidhar Reddy got into ESI. Purojit, again, he was a CAE master student. He currently works as GET for Access Cadres in their aerospace domain for computer-aided engineering. 